the date data type in Oracle not only stores date but also time. So hours, minutes and seconds are also stored as part of the date data type. The storage is an internal representation. So it doesn't matter what format you enter date in and what format you retrieve dates out. It is always consistent. So let's look at an example here. My default NLS date format is DDMONRR. So if I were to query the system date now, it is two digit day of month, three character month of year and two digit year of century DDMONRR. If I were to change my date format for output, I can change it using the NLS date format parameter. So this is my new date format DD slash month slash four digit year. So it comes as 20th slash September slash 2016. As I told you the date format in also includes uh, time. So let's view that. So I'm going to view the time in 24 hour format with minutes and seconds as well. That's it 20th September 22:32. This time is from the database server, not from your client. Remember, when you're running sysdate, it's a sysdate on the database server. Your client may be having a different clock, maybe in a different time zone, but sysdate is from the database server. So if I run the query again, I get the new time 22, 32, 33. So it's 19 seconds advanced. Now, if you were to store dates, like I told you, it is an internal format. So no matter what format you enter data in, you can always retrieve data in the, the format you want. Let's create a, t a dummy table. Okay, so I've created a column of date data type. I, let me reset my NLS date format. Will it make a difference? Technically, no. NLS date format is for retrieval, not for input. And dates also allow you to do date arithmetic. So I could do sysdate plus three, that is three days from now. So you can see number one is 20th September, number two is 23rd September. Now let me set my date format for retrieval. So here you can see that although my date format was DDMNRR when I did the insert, the two inserts, that format was not used for inserts. Inserts always inserted with time element as well. So the first row was 20th September 22, 33, 35, the time it was inserted. The second row was the current system time plus three days. So it becomes 23rd September, but 22, 33, 49, because 14 seconds had elapsed between the first insert and the second insert. So whenever you insert data, Oracle by default will also insert hours, minutes and seconds unless you explicitly truncate it. For example, So the third row that I inserted, I had said truncate of sysdate plus five. So sysdate is 20th September plus five is 25th September and the truncate caused the hours, minutes and seconds to be zero. 
so it is the midnight another thing you can do with dates is you can convert them to characters when you retrieve data out so similarly you can convert characters to dates when you insert data in let me first retrieve data So here the dates that I have retrieved, the day of the month but not the date, sorry this is the day of the week but not the day, date of the month, month and year. This is retrieved as a character not as a date. While in this case when I selected star from test dates, this date column values are still date data types. But two care converts them to character data types. So they are no longer date data types. Similarly, if I want to insert into my table, I can do a two date conversion of a character string. So I specify the date format mask. So here you can see I had f entered a character string, converted it to a date using the format mask dd month 4 digit year. But when I retrieve it, the retrieval is not based on the entry value, the retrieval is based on the NLS date format. This is my current NLS date format here. So the retrieval shows here. And that is still the same analysis date format, I have not changed it, so this is the retrieval. I can change my analysis date format if I want to again. So now using the new analysis date format. I have retrieved 30th September 18, remember that's the year 2018 which I have inserted explicitly and because I not specified hours, minutes and seconds during the insert but I converted a character string to a date, the hours, minutes and seconds were truncated. Here when I had inserted a date itself, for example here where I inserted dates, the inserted values included hours, minutes and seconds. So when you are inserting a date data type into a date column, the default behavior is including hours, minutes and seconds unless you truncate it. When you are inserting a character data type into a date column, you have to convert it with the two date uh, function and the format mask. When you are retrieving it, if you want to retrieve as a date, you use the analysis date format and specify the mask. If you want to retrieve as a character string, again you can convert using to care to get a character string. So in summary, analysis date format is for retrieval of dates and to date is for inserting of characters into a date column. To care is for converting of a date column to a character column. But both to date and to care also specify for, uh, format specifiers which are the same format specifiers as you would use for NLS date format.